Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today's layout is for the YouTube layout hop on YouTube and uh, the description for the rest of the participants will be in the descriptions in the description box below. So this layout is a birthday layout and the YouTube layout layout hops theme for this month or for the month of September is to use a recycled item. So I haven't used mine yet. I do end up using packaging uh, from a package of, I believe it's Pink Fresh Studio um, Alpha stickers, or you'll see it shortly. So, just so I could describe what I'm doing, I am using the Pebbles Ink um, paper collection, and it's a birthday collection called Happy Hooray. And um, so, you'll see me use multiple papers from this collection and just so i can give you a couple of some of the sizes of the things that i've cut out um, the happy birthday paper is cut out at five inches by i'd say about ten and a half inches the blue paper is two inches by five inches and the little paper with it looks like funfetti and the stripe um, rainbow paper they're both um, the um, label um, the strips at the bottom of the paper why I can't think of the name I have no idea but anyway so these are my three pictures that I'm scrapbooking and I did take inspiration from a Victoria Marie um, sketch that she had on patreon from a few months ago um, I really it really spoke to me so I wanted to um, use her sketch. So basically I am cutting, matting my pictures and the paper's about nine and a quarter um, by two and a half. And I'm going to use one packaging, which I think right now, I'm not sure if I'm using this, no, not this one. I think I'm just looking at the, what I'm gonna use as far as, uh, Okay, there we go. It's a hip kit club, actually. Um, alpha sticker package, the packaging from it. And it just has these little crosses on it. Or plus signs. I don't know, whichever way you want to look at it. And I'm going to use that to also create a second mat to my pictures. So give it a little a separation and it makes the green paper pop a little bit. And I'm just giving it an eighth of an inch um, border, so uh, pretty easy to figure out. So I want to thank Christine Rodriguez, um, and her link is below, Serenity and Him. Um, she is the one who puts these um, hops together, and you know she works so hard, and I really appreciate all the work she does to get these things done. So now I'm going to try to figure out, um, I, wanted, I want to make a journaling spot for my picture, um, which I'm going to use as Pink Fresh Studio, and it's um, also some um, packaging from one of their ephemera packs, or sticker packs rather, and it has like a, a a grid style and I thought it was perfect the colors match and um, it'll work perfectly to add in uh, a secondary title as well as future journaling so at first I was going to use some um, wax paper and so I could move around my stickers because I wasn't sure where I wanted to uh, place them but then I I was kind of afraid that that I wouldn't be able to peel them off so I just pulled put the wax paper aside and, um, and that's when I realized that I haven't glued anything down so before I do that I'm going to glue my pictures as well as my journaling spot down I like to use this um, uh, thermo, thermo, who's this by? Tombow Mono uh, permanent adhesive tape runner. 
Um, they're nice and small. They fit in your hand. I like using my coupons from um, usually Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It depends on where I'm at. And um, I usually stock up every, you know, every time I go, I pick up a pack. So I'm going to use this happy birthday um, little sticker with a dog. She loves my dogs. And um, so I figured it would be a perfect um, little decoration for this page. I'm also using from the same collection. These are all um, sticker sheets and these are chipboard stickers. So I'm going to use the banner up on the right hand side because I felt like it was a little empty spaced and I was thinking of using the giraffe but uh, the giraffe doesn't end up joining the dog on the layout. I do however end up using um, the balloons which I will place to the left of the picture. as well as a happy birthday to you birthday cake. Now, I've, I love the cake, I love the placement, but I saw that it had three candles and she's turning four. So I wanted to make sure that I somehow incorporated the four in there. So I do have these um, thickers that have, um, they're like candles. So I, I'm gonna use the number four in yellow and I will, um, add it to my little cake there. So now to continue on with my layout, um, I pretty much, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do as, as far as a title or if, um, like, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. And I feel like there's so much going on already and there's not really much space. I decide to use my L Studio um, stamps and these are the um, title builder stamp set. And that's, um, this is the first set that came out, which I just recently purchased. And I think I've used these maybe three or four times already. Absolutely love them. So there's so many options and it took me a minute to figure out what option I wanted to use on this layout. So I end up stamping um, on the bottom right there and I was going to start with favorite moments and that was going to be what I was going to put at the bottom in the right where you basically see I guess you can say the dog's butt. <laughs> but then I felt like it looked better up top and I end up doing that instead. And then at the bottom, I wanted to do something to start my document, you know, so I could journal and kind of have something there. So I am going to stamp documented, documenting today So I do end up going with documented today and at first I wanted to use my Misty because I'm not really a good stamper and I was afraid that I was going to mess it up since I have already stuck everything down and this stamp set is pretty much ruined so I, I mean not stamp set, I'm sorry, um, stamping block. So um you really can't see through it anymore. So I picked a different one so that I can actually see through it and it's a little smaller so it's easier for me to work with. And I am, I had to double stamp, possibly even triple stamp. I don't even remember how many times I did it because it just was not crisp. I think it's more because my ink pad is a little on the, uh, dried up side so I will have to invest in a re-inker so luckily I didn't mess it up and 
Um, but you will see in my close-ups at the end of this video that it wasn't a crisp, nice um, stamp or image. So now I'm doing the documented, documenting. And that one came out good because it's smaller and it's not a very thick font. So for the um, favorite moments that you see up top, I do end up using my Misty. And I'm going to actually cut it out of, I'm going to stamp it on a piece of, um, of the same type of, um, paper, paper, oh, recycled backing from a package, which you, which is what we're documenting today is also stamped, but I wanted to kind of bring that white and blue graph paper up to the top. So I'm taking my piece of paper and I'm going to use my magnets, which I end up cutting the part out where, oh, no, I didn't. My magnets stuck together and they're very heavy magnets. Luckily, I was able to separate them. So I love using my Sweet Petunia um, Misty uh, stamp um, platform. It definitely is a lifesaver for someone who's not great at stamping because you can stamp the same thing over and over again. And as you can see, I've switched over to my Brutus Monroe um, detail ink in Raven, which is basically black. But you can see that the um, you can just keep going over and over. And if you were doing um, something like cards where you're using multiple, you know, you're make, doing multiple cards of the same sentiment or the same image, you don't have to worry about your um, not um, stamping in the same spot. Um, as long as you have the paper lined up where it needs to be, you will get the same exact image over and over again. And in situations like mine where I always have to stamp more than once, um, it comes out perfect. So I'm very happy with the way it turned out. And now I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut around it um, with my scissors and um, I am very happy with the way it looks, with the stamping, with the way the layout turned out. Um, I'm almost getting to the end of the video and the only thing left basically is me gluing down my favorite moments. I'm going to add some sequins to the to three spots which are above the favorite moments um, to the right bottom right of the cake and to the left uh, bottom of the documenting today and I will do some ink splatters in Heidi Swap's Color Shine and basically that will um, be the end of my uh, layout. It'll be complete. So I am going to take a moment to say thank you for watching. Please make sure to stop by all the participants links down below in my descriptions and um, if you'd like to sponsor one of the hops uh, please contact Christine or you can get in touch with me and I'll put you in contact with her and uh, yeah that's about it thanks so much have a great day